Hey, what's going on? This is John with Flash Climbing, and I'm here to talk about the top four beginner mistakes that I see on the climbing wall. Today we are here at Bull Creek Park here in Austin. It is a place that I got started bouldering. I bought a bouldering pad. I came out here with a buddy of mine and just started kind of flailing here on this wall right here. We just kind of got some high top outs and uh, that was right after I joined the rock climbing gym and just got super, super psyched on rock climbing. And I didn't know anything about rope climbing yet so I just wanted to get on a wall and uh, so this is where I decided to record this video today. Okay, so the number one issue that I see new climbers doing that is inhibiting their climbing is using all hands and no feet. Your hand's gonna get very, very tired just holding on to the wall right here if you're not uh, connected with your feet. And uh, a lot of times when new climbers get started, all they see in front of them are their hands. They're not looking down, they're not trying to find where the best foot is going to be for them uh, to grab onto the wall and they get really tired and then we hear the same thing over and over again oh I'm not climbing that good today just because I don't have my hand strength built up yet unfortunately that is rarely the issue and the issue is the technique and that technique comes from having really good feet really good body position really good tension and being aware of where your body is sitting on the wall at all times. All right, so when you're coming in, I wanna make sure that you are always paying attention to where your feet are on the wall and looking down. So if you notice, I'm always looking down before I move up on the wall because if you don't have a great foot, you're not gonna be able to reach up to these great hands like you're looking at right now. And uh, you wanna make sure that your foot is in the best place possible so you're not gonna be slipping off the wall. That brings us to number two, which is body position and hip placement on the wall. So you got your feet, they're touching the wall, your hands are good, you're balanced. You see a high move, you don't know how to reach it. What is the next step? It's probably gonna be something to have to do with how your body is positioned on the wall. Are you going to have to shift your weight? Are you going to have to uh, balance onto a hold you have, bring your foot up? Are you going to be able to twist your hips so they're closer to the wall right here? Um, that is gonna help you become a much better climber because a lot of times, not 100% of the time, but a lot of times, the way that your hips are positioned into the wall is going to help you reach by uh, holds that seem like they're a little bit out of your reach. All right, so you're gonna notice that this climb is a big layback on the start, and that's gonna require a lot of body tension and good feet that we're searching for here. And then we're gonna have a big lunge to this next move right here, and I'm gonna be looking for a good foot to heel hook there, and I'm not really finding it, so I have to transition my body weight and my hips over to the left side and once I do that I'm able to go up to this next move quite easily and uh, continue up the climb. Okay number three we talked about this a little bit earlier you're gripping on a hold as hard as you can to hold on because you don't want to fall but you're not looking down at your feet. Make sure that whenever you're holding on the wall you're only holding it as hard as you need to hold on. You're not over gripping. If you do that, you're going to pump yourself out, especially when you're just getting started. You're gonna pump out your forearms and you're just not gonna have any more gas in the tank to hold on and make it up. Even if you do start to find those feet that we talked about earlier. You see how I'm climbing this one, it's just very minimal effort. Uh, the least amount of grip strength as possible whenever I'm going up on here, so it's really easy to grip. Okay, number four. This is another big one that a lot, a lot of newbies are missing when they start climbing, is they are using their whole foot on a hold and they're not trusting their toes. So you can, with rock climbing shoes, they're made to have kind of a stiffer front 
and especially toe box area so you can stick a toe on a tiny little uh, edge like this right here and hold on and just have your whole foot hanging off so instead of just like flopping your whole foot over the side of a hold like that and not being able to position your body to go up to the next move you need to get to um, having just a toe there allows you to raise your foot up pivot if you need to or anything like that and it's really going to help you get up the wall for whenever you need to move higher to your next move. Alright, if you check this one out right here, you notice that I've got the very front of my toe box on the top of these holes right here and I'm not slipping off, it's perfectly fine and I'm able to pivot very easily to get up to the next move as well. And those are the four basic things that I see a lot, a lot, a lot of new climbers doing that is inhibiting them from kind of getting up to the next grade, kind of moving up and being able to climb a little bit harder climbs. Um, you might be able to get away with some of that stuff on, you know, V1s, V2s, um, but, you know, once you start getting up to threes, fours and up and, you know, going and getting on a real wall like this instead of just in the climbing gym, uh, doing those things is not going to enable you to be able to get up the wall. So uh, make sure that whenever you're doing your training, you're very cognizant and thinking about where your body is whenever you're doing these movements, um, where your toes are, where your hips are. All these things are going to help you become a better climber. That's all I got for you today. Get out there, climb on some rocks, and have a good time. All right, later.